Okay, folks, look, what's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Check it out. Today, we're getting ready to do an Asian-style barbecue chicken, right? Super easy, and as always, you guys can go to my website, which is smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, you know, for the full printable recipe. Okay, so listen, the first thing we get ready to do is we're getting ready to, you know, take my chicken, I got to clean it, and then I want to cut it. I can see right now, if you guys pay attention, look right there, you can just see the excess of skin on there, right? So let me go ahead, I'm going to show you guys how I trim it up. We want to get it ready for the marinade we're gonna put this in the oven i mean in the refrigerator for about i don't know you can do it for at least amount of time for 30 minutes but overnight for best results this right here i'm gonna gonna kind of like peel this back like this the skin and i'll take a fork and put holes in this right here so that the marinade will get in there Okay, so listen, with all of the rest of the ingredients you have, what we're gonna do is what we call like a dump and go, right? This is what makes it super easy. So I'm not finna bore you guys. Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website and you can find that down in the description box below. So we'll just add the ingredients. I'm gonna stop talking and you guys can just watch me add these. And then what you want to do is just get yourself a whisk. And notice, you know, when I put the red, you know, the red dye in there, that's completely optional. I know everybody trying to get away from using the red dye right now. You know what I mean? But just give it that nice color. Listen, you put this on some white rice or some, you know, fried rice. Whatever you want to put this on, it'll look good. And remember, I tell you, the presentation is everything along with the taste. Okay, folks, so listen, I went ahead and took it out. This is it right here. Listen, you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see the color. Remember, we use just a couple of drops of that food coloring, right? So that gives it a little bit of a red tint. That is completely optional. And I gotta tell you guys this, I did go ahead and, you know, do it overnight. Now I'll be using my Philips XL, right? Now remember, this is the XL model. If you guys pay attention, you can see that right there. Look, this is how big this is. I think it's great for a family of four or five. You know what I mean? You can fill this up and, you know, get your, uh, your air fry on. All right, so look, this is the first thing I'm gonna do. Right here, I got some spray olive oil, right? So what I'll be doing is I'll be spraying the bottom. You know what I mean? Just so that we don't get nothing to stick, right? Don't need a whole lot. That's all you need, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my bag. And I'm gonna take some tongs, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set these in here just like you see. I'll set this one over here, you know what I mean? Don't forget we put them holes in there so it's marinated nice. You know what I mean? Uh, it's penetrated, you know, throughout the meat. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this inside the air fryer. And now we get it set up. Okay, so listen, what we wanna do is we wanna power up, right? Now, you're gonna see some symbols. It depends on what type of uh, air fryer you have. You know, you can go by that. Then we can make our adjustments, right? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks like a, you know, a chicken drum. We see fish. That could be steak, pork chop. You got pie, whatever you're doing, right? So this is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit this, and we're gonna move that over, right? And see, right now, it's on the, like, the chicken, right? I'm telling you guys, look, the temperature we wanna use is 375, right? So if I take this, and I just raise this up to 375, that's good. Then when it changes to time, now I wanna reduce this, because my time is gonna be about 17 minutes, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start. Okay, so remember, I told you guys, do not discard your marinade, right? So this is what we have left. We're gonna get a brush. Once we're done, you know, air, you know, putting it through the air fryer and the meat is fully cooked, then we're gonna go ahead and brush it and do our thing with that, right? So here's a pro tip. Listen, this is right here is key. Halfway through, if we did 17 minutes, you divide that by two, you guys tell me what that is. We're gonna flip it over, right? So halfway through the cook, I'm gonna take my tongs, flip it over, put it back in there and finish it. Okay, folks, so look, we're gonna pull it out. We finna take a look at it. Look at that right there. All right, folks, as you can hear, listen, air fryer is done, right? Let's pull these out and take a look at them. And that right there, I don't know. Hey, I ain't got no word for it, folks, but you see that? That's what you wanna have. Now, how do we know it's done? What you want to do is you want to get yourself one of these meat thermometers, right? I'm going to go ahead and just put this out there. 
As you can see, I got my own. It's already branded. Uh, this is on my website. I'll put all of that uh, information on it, uh, just, you know, down in the description box below. And listen, you don't have to have one of these. I got it. My grandma would probably be tripping out right now because I'm using one of these. She just knew when everything was ready. But for me, I like to stick this in here, and, you know, just to be accurate, especially for all my new people out here, right? So right now, I'm looking at it right now. We coming up on 160, 161. Yeah, that's good. Listen, it's gonna go ahead and rise some more, but listen, we gotta go back into the air fryer anyway. And don't forget, this is dark meat, folks. When you're doing dark meat, I know everybody say 165, keep everything nice and juicy, but listen, dark meat can go up to 175, even 180. I don't always say 180, I just say anywhere between 165, that's what the FDA says, and 175, and you'll be on the money, right? Now, we finna go ahead and move on to that last part. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, I'm just basting this just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there just for about two minutes on each side, that's all. But you see how that look right there? Oh yeah. Remember, just two minutes. Okay, so after basting it on both sides, two minutes back in there at the same temperature, you wanna see something beautiful? Look at that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that one there. And I'm gonna grab this one over here. I got another one in here, got a little chart. That's gonna be specifically for myself, right? So I'll just put it right there. Look at that right there. If you guys can't see the flavor that's on there, you gotta believe me, listen, it smells incredible in here. You guys gonna start using this on a lot of different things. You can make this sauce and put it on a lot of different uh, different files, you know, like your poetry. Listen, I didn't even made this and put it on my pork chops. All of that is good. Now let's cut one of these open and let's look and see what it looked like in the inside. All right, so as promised, nice and tender. We just go ahead and cut this down, you know, so you guys could just see. Kind of like gotta hold it, because when I say it's tender, and don't forget, this is bone in. Right, you guys, if you can have it, you can find it all uh, and get it, or you can debone it yourself, you know what I mean? But if you wanna see something juicy, look at that. Fully cooked flavor throughout. Don't forget, we marinated, we went ahead and went overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this off to the side because I'm finna eat that, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you. So if I take it and just cut it down like that, presentation would be much, much better if this would have been boneless, you know what I mean? But you see that right there? Now you can see why we call it Asian. I'm just stripping this down, just so you guys can just see how juicy it is. You know what I mean? Don't forget, dark meat, folks. You can't beat it. Okay, so the only thing I gotta do now is hit this with this bite. Cheers, y'all. Okay, folks, listen. I ain't gotta, you know what? I don't have to say nothing. You guys are used to reading the comments, you know what I mean, for everything that I make. You guys go back and look at it. So listen, I'm gonna request that you guys make this Come back, talk to me, and talk to the rest of the world. Let them know, like, this right here is fire, folks. Hey, listen, I'm going to keep it super simple, so check this out. If you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you see this right here? I thought I was going to give it to somebody else, but guess what, folks? I'm going to take this and this, and guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.